Welcome back. I'm Seth Juarez, and I'm privileged to be here with Mark Rosinovich, Azure CTO. How you doing, bud? Good. So I tried to I tried to come over the other day. No one no one would let me in. They were under orders. Speaking of confidentiality, what is your favorite announcement so far? Microsoft Build. Uh, confidential confidential containers. containers. That's it. Yeah, I was trying to I was yeah. trying to get lead you yeah. into that yeah, one yeah. a little yeah. bit. Yeah, no, you did a good job. So let's start first with remind us what this whole technology is. So confidential computing is based on this concept of trusted execution environments, which are hardware that protects or creates this box called an enclave that you can put code into. It's completely isolated from the outside and protected from the outside. So for example, the memory is encrypted. So from the outside, even if you're an admin on the box, you can't get into what's in the box. And the hardware can measure what's in the box and then produce a signed report saying, hey, this is the code that's inside this box. And then whatever's in the box can say, hey, look, this is what I am. The hardware says it is. And then from the outside, if you want to let that code decrypt data so that it can process it in a confidential way, then you give it a secret and say, here's the, the key to unlock this data. And then it processes it. And this is what we call protection while data is in use. So we've got protection while data is at rest with encryption at rest. We've got TLS for protecting it while it's in transit. And this is like the missing piece is protecting it while, while it's in use. So I mean, I get that, but that's like at a machine level. You're saying this with containers though? Yeah, well, so that's the announcement today. So we've been driving confidential computing from bringing the first confidential hardware into the public cloud with virtual machine types we that support about this it. Last yeah, time, yeah. Yep. We've got uh, the ability to run pods on confidential AKS nodes with trusted execution environment. We've got confidential SQL, SQL always encrypted with SGX enclaves. We've got an attestation service that is one of these things that produces one of these reports of this is the code running in this box, trust me, that's also confidential. We've got a confidential ledger service. We've worked with NVIDIA to bring confidential GPUs out. We've worked with AMD and Intel to bring confidential hardware out. And today we're taking the next step in the evolution of the software platform for confidential computing by supporting serverless containers that are confidential. And, and that's the part, like, because I remember we talked about this other stuff, but how do you, how do you actually do a confidential container that's using hardware property? How, yeah. how is that even done? It, it's actually pretty straightforward, and we, we've got a little demo that I can show you of us just how easy it is to take a container and make it confidential. All right, let's let's roll that. I want let's let's show everybody what we got here. So tell us what we're looking at. All right, so what we're looking at here is an ARM template to deploy. Uh, a container on ACI or Azure Container Instances service. And these three lines right there is all that it takes to declare that as a confidential container. It's an ARM template. It's an ARM template, okay. right. So you can see that it's saying AMD SMP, that is the type of hardware. Now, if we go to this view of our container instances running, you can see it just looks like any other type of container instance. Now, what we've got in there is a Python app that does one thing only. When you hit the URL for that app, it produces the report from the hardware of what it is. This is what I was talking about, what it would present to somebody that it wants a, to get a key from to decrypt data. And you can see at the bottom there's signature, there's a measurement field. That's what the hardware is producing. It's looking at the code in there and saying, this is the measurement of everything in this box. Here's my signature to prove to you that I'm, a, I'm the hardware and I am I'm endorsing this as a true statement. And then you take that and get a key to unlock, for example, confidential data sets, encrypted data sets for, for health records or financial data or whatever other kind of data you want to keep secret and make available only to what's in that container. So as I saw that, I guess what, what I was looking at was you built a confidential container, you deployed it, and all you did was you did a Python script that just output all the attestation. Yeah. Now, for me, because I'm a simpleton when it comes to these things, Mark, so if you could help educate me, maybe someone else who's like me, what does all that attestation data do or say? What's in there? Yeah, well, like I mentioned, it is the measurement. So it's the hash. Um, so it's a succinct representation of everything that's in there. And then the processor has a, certif a certificate that's been issued by AMD. I see. That you can go check and say, was this signed by a real AMD processor? And this is the hash of what's in there. Um, so I know that the, the Python app has this hash, so I can look at that attestation report. Does that hash match what I think of as the Python app that I wrote? Yes, it is. It's signed by AMD processor. It's protected inside this enclave. So now I know it's authentic and I can share a secret with it. 
So if heaven forbid someone were to even get the container out somehow magically, which I don't think is even possible, yeah. it would all be encrypted, no one would know anything. That's right. The memory's encrypted, the CPU state's encrypted, the hypervisor can't see what's in there, an admin on the box can't see what's in there. Um, you know, somebody breaking through the trust boundaries of Azure can't see what's in there. Even physical access, it'd be tough to get what, what's in there. So literally someone there with a screwdriver yeah. into the machine would not be able That's to right. see what's You could there. put a sniffer on the memory bus and you wouldn't be able to see because it it's all encrypted, so. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is really cool. There's got to be some really fantastic use cases for this. Can you fill us in? Well, I mean, the, the scenarios are kind of limitless. First of all, it's, I, I strongly believe that confidential computing will become just a uh, defense computing. in depth. Computing. Yeah, it'll become computing. computing. People just call it computing and it'll be confidential. Just like, you know, we talk about uh, TLS and encryption of stuff that's in transit. You don't send stuff over the network now unless yeah. it's encrypted. Yeah. And so that's just the normal way to do things. But some of the cool scenarios that it supports uh, that I'm excited about are multi-party computations. If you think about the case where you and I have two data sets, we've got concerns of the privacy of what's in that data set or IP of what's in that data set or regulation prevents us from sharing that data set, well, we can give it to the Python app that we both trust not to leak what's, what's there, give both of our data sets to it. It can do a computation like an ML algorithm that does a uh, training across both those data sets and get insights out of them that it wouldn't be able to get out of just one. So set patient record from hospital A, patient records from hospital That's B, really cool. or you know chest x-rays mixed with MRI scans or... Tons you know, of use cases. Yeah. And, All right, so just to finish up, where can people go to find out more? I know they want to know about this stuff. So you can go to aka.msccaci. Okay. So conf Make confidential container ACI. Awesome, we'll make sure you go to that link and be sure to stick around through tomorrow and get part two with Mark as we talk about container apps and Dapper, just like me. Don't miss it.